اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم کما ارسلنا فیکم رسولا منکم یتلو علیکم آیاتنا و یزکیکم و یعلمکم الكتاب والحکمہ و یعلمکم ما لم تکونو تعلمون صدق اللہ و مولانا حضیم اللہم صلی اللہ سیدنا محمد و علی آلی سیدنا محمد و مبارک وسلم اللہم صلی اللہ سیدنا محمد و علی آلی سیدنا محمد و مبارک وسلم اللہم صلی اللہ سیدنا محمد و علی آلی سیدنا محمد و مبارک وسلم This is a very important verse that as every Muslim should know is verse number 151 of Surah Al-Baqarah We should make these mental references, right? and restore them in our subconscious mind, right? It's very important. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying in this verse, the way we have sent to you means the people of Mecca. Uh, people of Madinatul Manawara, because this is Surah Al-Baqarah, so Surah Al-Baqarah is revealed in Madinatul Manawara. Right? I believe so. Uh, people of Arabian Peninsula. Hmm? We have sent to you a noble messenger. Hmm? Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was the dua of Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa sallam. Right? As Ibrahim alayhi salam built the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then he built the madrasa. Right? And then he made dua, Ya Allah, sent students and also mudarras. So the students were sahaba i kiram radhwanallahu alayhi wa jma'in. Right? And the mudarras, the teacher was Sayyidina Muhammad alayhi salam. The dua of Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salatu salam. Right? A noble messenger from among you, right? from Quraysh. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was from Quraysh. Who recites to you our verses. Hmm? Quran is a mujza of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Mujza of Adil Maud. People, so much research has been done and in being done. And so much, mashallah, nice videos are being promoted by, being made by Muslims. Mashallah, may Allah reward them. Uh, about the universe and the verses of Quran, mashallah. And the message is being given. So Quran is, mashallah, is the, is the miracle of Sayyidina Muhammad alayhi salatu salam. Mujza Abad al maut After Rasul Sallallahu Wisal Sharif. After his noble departure <coughs> from this world. Now if people want to, people have any doubt about the truthfulness of, about Sayyidina Muhammad alayhi salam, all they have to do is read Quran understand Quran, learn Tajweed, read it properly, right? And they, they, will be, they, will, they will be left speechless. So Quran, if we read Quran as it should be read, and try to, as we read Quran in Ramadan, inshallah, and after Ramadan as well, inshallah, and we try to understand Quran, learn surf enough, from local ulama ikram, right? Quran will change us. At the end of the Ramadan, we will be a changed human being. Quran will impact us. It will shatter our uh, wrong conditioning. And today, the reason we are as a human being because of the conditioning that has been done when we were kids. So anyway, so Quran is a miracle of Rasulullah Sallallahu mm -hmm. Our verses and purifies you. So we Muslims should know that a nation that was so bad that their Naked woman. Woman used to do tawaf naked. Tawbah, Allah. 
They used to bury their daughters alive. alive. They were stone hearted. I mean, it, it really affects any human being deeply when he studies Abu Jahl. What a man he was. How stone hearted he was. Had no compassion. And Rasulullah had to deal with such people. And those people began to change. The son of Abu Jahl became Sahabi and a, a, and a very distinguished scholar, Ikrama. How Quran changed people's life and that nation became one of the best nation. Became one of the best nation. Best nation. We should, the, the entire humanity, all human beings, Muslims and non-Muslims, we should truly appreciate Sayyidina Muhammad that how slavery was rehabbed. The Muslim, during the time of Tabi'een, would buy a slave, then they would teach that slave Quran and Hadith. And one slave, I believe his name was Azaz Salim, Rahmahullah. He became a leading scholar. He was purchased for 300 dirham. And he became a leading scholar. His master taught him Quran and Hadith. Mawlana Riyas Ramatullah must have taken the lead from there. When he started the work of the belief in Maywat. Anyway, so the Amirul Mumineen one day came to meet him and he sent him a message My schedule of Darsa Tadris is so tight, I don't have time for you. Oh, no. I mean, you look, the accomplishment with this entire humanity. We should appreciate Sayyidina Muhammad and accept, come to grip with this fact that Sayyidina Muhammad was sent as a mercy to the mankind. You, you take one of his hadiths and you'll find the answers. Plenty of answers. Probably provided we have that faqahat, right? So we should appreciate the faqih of the Ummah of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Arba. Appreciate their role. And I really must congratulate those Muslims who have done nice series such as Four Imams. I think it's remarkable work. You may disagree with them on their certain positions, but the good work, lives of Sahaba that they have done, we must appreciate it. <coughs> In my humble be just, it is closest to being God. Now, Subhanallah, and teaches you what you did not know, right? My brother, I mean, you can be the top doctor, fine. That's fine, good. Good for you. Top engineer, good for you. But also, why don't you take time out and learn Quran and Hadith? Hmm? Learn what you do not know. So Prophet ﷺ taught them what they did not know. The traditions, the saying of Prophet ﷺ, peace and blessing be upon him. Now we will continue with this beautiful book of Hazrat Shaykh Zulqar Ahmad Sahadam al the sub of a suluk. So we'll continue. It is mentioned in Sahih Muslim, narrated by Abu Hurara radiallahu ta'ala anhu. May Allah be pleased with him. The Rasulullah said, Ask me about deen. But Sahaba Ikram, because of robe of Rasulullah because of 
No cierto que rol, because of the awe, because of the Subhanallah, people could not look at Rasulullah Sallallahu The husnu jimal, the beauty, and also Mashallah, his robe as a Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, his awe that was. Uh, associated with him alayhi salam could not ask question a stranger came and he sat Rasulullah with us right, right, right in front of Rasulullah <coughs> even his kneecaps were touching the kneecaps of Rasulullah and he asked mal iman what is iman Mal Islam, what is Islam? Mal Ihsan, what is Ihsan? This is known as Hadith Jibrail. He was Jibrail al Islam. So we must love Sahaba Ikram, the noble companions, Ridwanullah Ali Majmai. Because they saw Rasulullah, they saw, because of the Sohba of Rasulullah, they saw Jibrail al Islam in the form of a human being. And they saw plenty of miracles of Rasulullah with their own eyes. That's why their Iman was so strong. So as a Muslim, and this is the firm belief of Ahl Sunnah wa Jama'ah, a Muslim must refrain from misuse of his tongue against even any Sahabi. It's very important, especially in this day and age. And we have the PDF of, mashallah, the Noble Companions that WFC has prepared. So, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent Jibrail al Islam in the form of a human being. And Jibrail al Islam. Asked Rasulullah submitted before Rasulullah with adab, with proper etiquettes. There are etiquettes of mentioning the name of companions, right? This is not right as it is being done nowadays. Ma'azallah, Summa'azallah, Abu Bakr said this, Umar said this, Usman said this. No, that's not right. Sayyidna Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu anhu said this. Sayyidna Umar Farooq radiallahu anhu said this. Sayyidna Usman radiallahu anhu said this. Sayyidna Ali radiallahu anhu said this. This is how hadith should be narrated. So make sure whom you learned your hadith from. Right? There must be a noor of hadith should be transmitted from heart to heart. So, so Rasulullah said after Jibrail left that he was Jibrail who came to teach you your religion. Then our Kabirin, they reward them. They have divided the Sadish Sharif, divided Hadith Sharif in three portions. Number one, a Hadith in which Usul and Nazriyat have been taught. Principles and the aqaid, proper aqaid. Well, right? So, number one is in which a soul or a ziriyat. Number two, amale islah about amale zahira. Number two, 
اصلاح اباؤٹ امال ظاہرہ اصلاح کمز انڈر تسکیت النفس نہیں تربیہ کمز انڈر تسکیت النفس and those are hadiths that are related to islahi batin to islahi batin we must focus on our islah right plenty of knowledge studying quran and hadiths plenty of ilm but batin there is no islah batin there is a proper process of islahi batin and we must accept them and be grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that these salasil because of this mustanad salasil the lives of millions have been changed over the centuries we must not reject them just like that it's not right be careful but it's very important that we understand that according to Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah Iyyaka na'budu wa Iyyaka nasta'een Ihdana sirat al mustaqeem sirat al ladheena ananta alayhim So Mufti Muhammad Shafi sahab rahmatullah ta'ala alayhi in Tafsir Ma'af al-Qur'an has done an excellent commentary the Honorable Father of Mufti Taqi Usmani sahab da'un ta'ala he has done an excellent commentary in tafsir of this ayah, ayah that there are two avenues of hidayah there are two avenues kitabullah and rijalullah you, you cannot say like some people are suggesting nowadays a movement for start it in pakistan huh? may allah forgive his weaknesses hmm? but wrote a beautiful tafsir but also there were a lot of ifs and buts in that tafsir that the local ulama contemporary ulama pointed out and such movements were only knowledge 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 and negating the role of rijalullah that's not right so kitabullah and rijalullah and the dalil is sirat al-ladheena an'amta alayhim so these rijalullah will exist until the day of judgment of course this is the time of qahd al-rijal drought of pious people how many pious people really muttaqi people you know in this community right you can almost count them on your fingertips Am I right? Huh? That you can say, this person is really muttaqi, he has taqwa. This person is really muttabi sunnah. In this community, look around. Not too many. And those who exist, value them. Hmm? And they must be the product of the mehnat of their elders. Mehnat of their elders. Do you understand? So do not reject this salasil. Because, my brother, you are, you never took time to sit in the majlis of pious people with, the, with an intention of Islam, right? Let me continue. So, Islam, Kitabullah and Rijalullah. sit in the sofa of Rijalullah, your life will change. But some people went astray because they made Awliya Allah as Maqsood Bizzat as and that is not correct. Maqsood Bizzat is Allah. Maqsood Bizzat is Awliya Allah they are zariya. They are. Zariya. You sit in their soba, and then you you acquire the marf of Allah. You, mashallah, become muttabi sunnah, right? Huh? You see them, and your heart says, "No, this person is number one." 
This person is not number two. You can always tell after a few days whether a person is number one or number two, right? Am I right? I live in America, right? Everyone is intelligent. It's a very sophisticated, very educated society. It makes person intelligent, right? He has to open a bill and read it in English. Knowingly and unknowingly, the English is improved. Am I right? Yes. It's a very smart country. Now, subhanAllah. So, in Hadith Jibrail, there have been three things have been mentioned Iman, Islam, and Ihsan. Okay. So, Tashiyya Aqaid. Tashiyya Aqaid. Correct Aqidah. Correct Aqidah. In the light of Quran and Sunnah is known as Ilmul Kalam. Known as? It's very important. Tawheed. Never temper with Tawheed. We've been in our morning session reading the five calls of people of Hellfire, right? We finished four. And but when they will say, Yalla, get us out of when they will say, Yalla, get them out of hellfire. Inshallah, we are not going to go to hellfire. Inshallah. Allah is giving us tawfiq to sit in Sunnah Itakaf, inshallah. And we will go to paradise, inshallah. inshallah. This faqir, this hadir, this ajis has beaten peace of mind, inshallah. Allah will protect us from hellfire. But people of hellfire, hellfire, when they will say, Ya Rab, get us out of here, and the answer that will be given by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala directly or through angels, Allah knows that written in tafsir, will be because of shirk you committed. Because of you ascribe partners, huh? natural, the divine indictment. Whatever you are doing, fine. Are you worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or not? And worship of being Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala according to the sunnah of Sayyidina Muhammad salam, that worship is accepted. Abizan? Fahimta? You understand what I'm saying? Yes? Well, it's very important that we do. Because I'm telling you, the Jali Akbar is knocking on the door. Trust you, me, on this one. The Jale Akbar is knocking on the door. So it's better we wake up. Sooner the better. Right? I don't think this time is very far now. But that's not my topic. So, number two is Ilmul Fiqh. Number two is? The teachings of Quran and Sunna about Amale Zahira. About Amale, Amale Zahira. Zahira. Huh? So, such thinking that some pious people do not make their prayer and they make their prayer somewhere else. No, 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 no. You cannot do that. You cannot, you cannot come up with stuff like this. Your this such stuff is subject to rejection. It's subject to rejection. Because Sayyidina Muhammad salam offered his prayers. Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq, Sayyidina Umar Farooq, Sayyidina Usman, and Sayyidina Ali, Ridwan Allah Ajmain offered their prayers on time and where they were. So you keep your stuff away. Do not mislead innocent Muslims with stuff like that. Understand? Yeah. There is no concept 
that while you are alive, your rule, rule leaves you and goes somewhere else. And, and, and I never understood these things when I was a child, and I'm glad I don't understand them now. And neither do I want to understand them. Huh? For me, the Sharia of Sayyidina Muhammad وسلم, is beautiful, simple, and understandable. And I will stick with it. Understand? Huh? I said what I had to. If you grasp it, good for you. Hmm? If you don't, make God to Allah. So, Amale Zahira. Ilmul Fiqa applies on Amale Zahira. Next is Islahi Baatin. Next is which is known as Ilmul Ihsan. Ilmul Ihsan. Okay. Hazrat Mujaddad Ali Fsani Rahmatullah. That human being is most unfortunate who criticizes Mujaddad Ali Fsani Rahmatullah. Inna lillahi wa inna Mujaddad al Afsani rahmatullahi was a gift of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to Muslim Ummah. I mean, you read his maktubat sharif and the dreams he had in which he saw Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And how happy Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was with Mujaddad al Afsani rahmatullahi. That human being is most unfortunate. Who Ma'az Allah criticizes Mujaddad al Afsani rahmatullahi. It's very painful. Mujaddad hmm? al-Fsani rahmatullahi in his Muktubat Sharif has written that Sharia is divided into three portions. Into ilm, amal, ikhlas. And Maulana Hakim al-Ummat, Maulana Ashraf Ali Thani sahab rahmatullahi and Maulana Ahmad Ali Lahari Rahmatullah in their tafasir have mentioned is as Ikhlas Fil Ibadat as Ikhlas Fil Ibadat the purpose we need to remind ourselves again and again the purpose of our life is creation is to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to worship Allah with Ikhlas whatever you are doing my brother my sister fine but are you worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or not? If you are not, there will be natch, there will be divine in, indictment, indictment waiting for you on the day of judgment. You understand what I'm saying? We have to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's very, very important. Now, and on the tariqah of Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So, ilm, amal, and ikhlas. MashaAllah. When a Muslim, when a Muslim acquires pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, ridai ilahi, in Urdu we call it ridai ilahi. It is better than all the khair in dunya. Hmm? Okay. Subhanallah. All the kafiyat, all the ahwal, mawajid, ulum, mu'arif, they are just the, when you are driving down and you're watching beautiful scenery, right? They are beautiful sceneries. They are not the purpose. They are not? The purpose. Uh, the purpose is the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. These kafiyat, like in Muraqaba, you, this Hajiz was doing Muraqaba. I never told Hazaji actually. Never had the courage. But in Darul Huda when I had just become student of Hazaji, Dawud Barakat, I was doing Muraqba, and all of a sudden I saw Baitullah in front of me. And as soon as I saw, Hazaji said, La ilaha illallah. 
But these things are not matloob and maqsood. Right? We do muraqba that our heart is saying, Allah, Allah, Allah. Allah. So our heart becomes qalb salim hmm? Our heart becomes qalb salim That's why we do the zikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not to see these things in Morocco. Right? SubhanAllah. Allah Akbar. Shah Waliullah Muhaddar Muhaddis Dehilvi Rahmatullah Alayhi has said. Again, we are coming to very important terminology that's causing a lot of stuff nowadays. Sufi, right? And some people are mazallah saying a lot of stuff, which is not right, okay? Please do not negate because we are equally hurt that some, that some Sufiya, modern Sufi, have taken the route of shirk and bidat. We are equally hurt, but then do not look at them and start saying negative stuff about Haja Moinuddin Chishti Rahmatullah. Please don't do that. Look at the role he played. The Islam in the sub subcontinent, indo pak subcontinent, is because of the mehnat and the taqwa. And I do not have any doubt in my mind that Khaja Ajmeri, Moinuddin Chishti Rahmatullah Alayhi Ajmeri, he used to offer Fajr prayer with Isha Wudu. I do not have any doubt. And the Islam spread all over Indo Pak subcontinent. Well, why your country, Bangladesh? Huh? Huh? The whole Bengal became Muslim. Haji Ali Hajiri Rahmatullah Alayhi, Haja, who is, who, is, who is buried in Lahore. I mean, you look at his life. His sheikh told him, go to Lahore and beg which he did. And they said, at the end of the day, with that money, you prepare food and feed the hungry. And you are not supposed to eat that food. You know, the Mashaikh did their tazkiya. May Allah reward our Mashaikh. They never put us in that difficult situation. May Allah reward our Mashaikh. I mean, some I mean. So, <clears throat> Khaja Ali Hajwiri Rahmatullah and Shamus Tabrez Rahmatullah and Nazamuddin Aliya Rahmatullah Ta'ala they were an asset for Muslim Ummah. Please do not refrain from passing negative judgment upon these awliya Allah. They were true awliya Allah. And we love them and we respect them and we will defend their honor, inshallah. Huh? May Allah elevate their status. They are our Muslim. Yes. Are you, are you buddy? Understand what I'm saying? Lights up? MashaAllah. Now, so the famous hadith, when Rasulullah was asked about Ihsan, so Rasulullah said, You worship Allah as you see Allah, seeing Allah, or Allah is seeing you. you. So this is called Muqami Ihsan. It's called Muqami Ihsan. That's why in our silsila we do Muraqaba. We do, muraqaba. and Muraqaba is. Our heart is revived spiritually, uh, known as Qalb Ka Jari Ho Jana, right? Uh, 
it first it is taharruk then it is tazakkur it reaches that stage but it takes a lot of efforts you have to follow the, all the six points of our blessed silsila now so this is called muqam e ihsan muqam e that we don't offer salah in the state of negligence سورة المؤمنون سورة المؤمنون اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قد افلح المؤمنون الذين هم في صلاتهم خاشعون خشوع Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said لا صلاة الا بحضور القلب حضوري نماز کی حضوری that we achieve the purpose of namaz that we look forward to our next salah we look forward i'm talking about ghair ramadan ramadan things are different ghair ramadan we subhanallah uh, we look forward to allah we look for when we go to uh, when we have done isha and we go to bed we look forward to tahajjud and after we have done fajr we look forward to ishraq or chash and when we done maghrib we look forward to allah bin nawafil awabin my younger son maulana ismail sahab when he started studying alim course mashallah he told me abu uh, there's 12 years of rewards so i've learned a lot from him and maulana ibrahim sahab as well they are even though my kids but they are also my teachers I'm always asking them questions. They patiently answer my questions. So he shared this hadith sharif with me, Tirmizi sharif. You get the reward of 12 years of worship. Well, yeah, when we offer six no, nawafil of awabin, awabin, after two raka of salatul, uh, two sunnah of maghrib prayer. But Mufti Taqi Usmani Sahib Damad Barakatum has given permission. Even if you offer four, you still, you get the reward. So I, when my nafs tells me, uh, after two sunnah, quickly make two sunnah, two nafal. I said, no. It's 12 years of reward. It'll take just a few more minutes. And maybe this will be the difference on the day of judgment. So before I conclude, uh, we need to look forward to next salah, right? and when we reach that level, that kafiyat, we have accomplished something. You know, we. become student of our mashayikh and alhamdulillah summa alhamdulillah we start doing muraqaba i remember when i became student of azaji and i started doing muraqaba and when i would leave his blessed company come home for the first time in my life i began to experience these feelings i started offering tahajjud i started reciting quran my whole internal system was spiritual system was upgraded was overhauled that's why so by the board was it to pay attention huh? that's why so by is So we we achieve something. Salah should, if a person sees salah as a burden, that's that's a that's an ill iman. Ye bimar iman ki alamat hai. He's still a woman, but no, we must work on ourselves and take our salah to that level. We must enjoy making budu, apply fragrance, huh? 
Huh? Now I'm going to read the last. If I know, if a person knows the last verses of Surah Al Imran, he will read this. Last verses of Surah Baqarah, or MashaAllah. Surah Amma Yatasalun, of Asghar's right to right. Surah Naziyat, Surah Al Mulk, Surah Al Qiyamah. Every surah has a different lazat. Surah Al Yusuf, my favorite surah. A few days ago, before Ramadan, I had this craving to recite Surah Yusuf. So I made my salah and I recited Surah Yusuf. The, the first 20 verses. And I also know, I think, the last few verses. And I enjoyed it. I felt so good. Your nafs now is no longer nafs ammara. It is? Now it becomes nafs al -lawama. If our nafs has become nafs al we should be grateful. nafs mutmainna is the nafs of Anbiya, Sahaba, and Aliyah. I don't think we have reached that far. But if we, our nafs amara has become nafs al we have achieved something. At least now this nafs is going to say, why did you backbite? Why did you lie? Why did you look at a hair mehram woman with lust? Why were you harsh with your wife? Why were you harsh with your kids? Your kids are pious or sinners? Pious or sinners? Make Take the advice of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from Surah Al-Taqabun. Wa in ta'fu wa tasfahu wa taghfiru. Take this advice from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala about your children. Wa in ta'fu, forgive them. Wa tasfahu, make sula with them. Taghfiru, again forgive them. Right? Make dua for them. If they are not at Suratul Mustaqim, then say, Ya Allah, it's all my fault. I could not become a better father. I could not become a better mother. <laughs> all right? And make this dua frequently if you want your kids to be pious. Frequently, I mean. When I went to Haram Sheikh last time, I made this dua frequently. Rabbana, Hablana, Min azwajina wa zurriyatina qurrata ayunim wa ja'alna lil muttaqina imama. One time, two time, three time is not enough. Make it frequently. Zikr e kaseer. During Ramadan, make this dua frequently. Make also this dua frequently for Khatma bin Imam. Rabbana faghfir lana zunubana wa kaffir anna sayyatina wa tawaqtana ma Allah. You can teach. Look at the translation and the tafsir uh, and the tafsir in Surah Al Imran at the end. And also this dua, never leave this dua. I had a chance to be like this with Multazim. And I made this dua. As soon as I was like this with Multazim, I made this dua. Allahumma inna nas'aluka al-imana laysa ba'dahu kufr. Make this work for me. Inshallah we conclude out this session and we will resume again tomorrow. Bashar Tehzidah. Assalamu alaikum.